this basketball tournament is the largest in the world for wheelchair basketball. After 175 games, 88 teams, and 976 athletes across five divisions, Sunday was all about the Division III National Championship. This is when you get to cash the paycheck for the entire year. We're putting in work, we're earning this money, and then you get to cash it at the end of the year. And I know it feels great for these guys. The tier Hot Wheels took on the Fort Lauderdale Sharks. Sharks basketball. It was a close game for much of the first half, but the Hot Wheels pulled away in the second. The intensity of the game is proof how much both teams want it and how unique this sport is. A lot of these guys were in the gym six and seven days a week, um, putting in a lot of effort, and a lot of sweat, blood, sweat, and tears to get to this point. And this is when they get to cash it in. This team has been um, fighting for a national championship. They've been in the mix for three or four years. Keep playing hard. This is the Hot Wheels' first appearance in the championship game, but Coach Ham says it's much deeper than basketball for these athletes. Sport means more once you realize what you've taken for granted. Um, in able-bodied sports, we take it for granted. We can go play basketball, baseball. We can do whatever we want right now today. We can just go and do it. For these guys, it takes a little bit more. One of the star players for the team is a national player of the year in a lower division, but he's so good he plays with the adults. Basketball for him is a ticket to the future as he received a full scholarship both in academics and basketball. Worked on my form and my shot all the time, and um, eventually something clicked, and I learned about you know, flicking my wrist. I learned how to play basketball here, so it's like, it's a, it's a good feeling to know that all of this hard work and learning, learning from them means something. It paid, paid off. It means I'm learning from the right people. The Hot Wheels rolled away with the title, but eyes are already on next year's season. When this event's over, it's getting in, into training camp and uh, getting ready for the Rio Paralympic Games in September. Colin Mayfield, WLKY News.